it's Joanne again. I'm a grandma, a mother, an art teacher, and a mixed media artist. This is the second video. Yesterday we made all these beautiful prints and I have them collected over here. They're all dry, ready to use. But once you get all these prints made, what do you do with them? That's what we're gonna tackle today. So I have my black crayon, my scissors, and glue sticks. And one of my favorite books, Birds by Kevin Hankus. And I'm just going to look at the title page here and look at these birds here. And we're going to be inspired by this. So I, besides the prints we made yesterday, I have my box full of scraps from other projects that I've done. Even the smallest scrap can be something. So I just keep them in these little plastic containers I got at Walmart and they're ready to go. So we're going to start out with our background and I'm just going to use white today because the background's white there and we're going to make our tree branch. Here's some brown printed, jelly printed paper that I happen to have and I'm just going to cut, have the kits cut out strips like so. And they can be crooked. In fact, you want them to be crooked because branches are crooked. There's not anything straight in nature, I always tell the kids. And then let's just go ahead and glue our branch on the paper. And for this project, I like using a glue stick. So, the, so they would cut out their branch and just glue it on the paper. If it goes off the edge, that's okay. Art can certainly go off the paper. Then I'll make some little branches from my other pieces here. And they can just cut those branches, put them anywhere they would like. I'm gonna make this one a little more crooked. I could leave it off the edge if I wanted to, or I could cut it. I think I'm going to leave it. And then let's, I'll do another one right up on the top. I'm just gonna cut a little of these straight edges off because there is nothing straight in nature very often. That's my background. And if this bothers you too much, that it goes off the paper, just feel free to snip it off. And put it someplace else. Okay. I also noticed that he has some apple blossoms here. And we printed this beautiful pink. And it has all the shades of the apple blossoms. So I think this would be perfect. So I'm just going to fold my paper. Cut, cut it in half and I'm going to fold my paper so I can make some petals and you can just use your black crayon if you want to and draw petals or you can just freehand cut them out depending on the ability level of your students. So I have my petals and I'll make a few more. Need lots of petals. And my yellow center. I'm gonna just take a little bit of my yellow paper here. I'm gonna take the part that has the green in it. A little yellow and a little green. That was just a clean a print that we just used to clean up the plate. Okay, that looks great. We'll go ahead and we'll glue our petals on into the branch. Put my center on first, second, and just go ahead and... Oh, these are so pretty. They look just like apple blossoms. 
And the ones that don't have much color on them, that's great. They just have a little color on them. And I'll just go all the way around. Oh, this is so pretty. I just love paper. I could just do this all day long. In fact, I a lot of times do do this all day long. <laughs> black crayon edges on this, so I'm just going to trim those off. Okay. And that would be one flower, and then you can make more flowers on the branches. And you need some leaves. And the one color I didn't make yesterday was green, but I happen to have green in my scrap box from another project. So I'll just go ahead and use this. This is a really pretty piece. And I'll just cut some leaves out. I'll fold it again so I can cut more than one at a time. And I'll just lightly sketch that leaf shape on or cut it freehand, depending on what you're able to do. Watch how this develops. This is really pretty. Found an extra petal here. I better use that. Oh yeah. I just think this is so pretty. The texture of the paper and the design of the paper just makes beautiful accidents happen. And that's what I really, really like about doing mixed media art with jelly prints. There's just so many surprises because this paper really does look like the texture of a leaf. And when I made it, I was not really planning on leaves. I was just making paper. Okay. Now we could put another couple of flowers on, but let's go ahead with the bird. And I made my bird bl blue because I did this really pretty blue piece yesterday. So I'm just gonna take, you can do make a template for smaller kids out of cardboard, or you can just show the kids how to draw a bird <coughs> with the black crayon on the painted paper. So I'm just gonna scoop it up like this, and I'm gonna go down a little bit and slide it all the way down. And that's the basic body of a bird. So we'll cut that out. And we have some wonderful scraps to use for another project. And when this gets cut out, the textures really even show up more and the, the beautiful designs. And that was a stencil that we used. Just gonna go ahead and glue my bird right on the branch. A little bit above the branch so I have room for legs. There you go. Now he needs a wing. So I have my blue paper here and for a wing. I'm just going to do a swoop and just join it across. Now if I wanted to use a contrasting color for the wing so it would show up better, I could do that. Like if I use this, it doesn't really show up better. So I think I'm going to use a contrasting paper. Let's see what I have. There's a darker blue. I think that would be really pretty. Let's do that. So just scoop it and join it. Scoop or swoop or whatever you want to call that curvy line. This is just dark enough that I think it'll show up pretty well. And now he needs his tail feather, which should be out of the same. It could be different, but I'm gonna make it out of the same. And a tail feather is just a line up, an echo line across, or a parallelogram if you want to involve math in the process. Art is always really about shapes. And when you do 
a collage like this, it's all about shapes, simple shapes together to make something beautiful. And I'm just gonna stick that right underneath him like that, like that. okay? And the beak is black in the, in the um, picture, and I happen to have some black paper here. I just snip off a little triangular beak. And all of a sudden, this bird is having some personality. For the eye, you can just use your crayon. And you can also use your crayon to make wing markings and tail feather markings. Or you could use a marker if you wanted to. And for the feet, I'm just going to take and make some slanted lines black with some little triangle there. And look how pretty that is. You could add more flowers. You could add more branches. And one thing that I like to do with kids is I like to put something partially on and have the art go off into the imagination. So that's what we're gonna do here. Because right now we have a pretty big empty space over here. We wanna use our own, all of our space. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a head of a bird on the top of the body and cut that out. Or you can make the whole bird and have it go off the paper too. That could be kind of fun. I'm just gonna simply glue him so he looks like he's, I can cut this extra off because I don't need it. And make my black beak again. This one's got a little bit of gold on, which is kind of fun. And the eye. And now he's got a little friend going off the paper. I think the kids could really have fun making lots of branches. And the flowers are really fun to make. They're just, you just go around in a circle and layer petals. And this is my project from, inspired by Kevin Hanka's bird. Have fun with your jelly prints and stay tuned for more ideas.